Well, hello there, this is Shiva, and uh, I've decided I'm going to play Dyson Spear Program uh, again. Now, I did pick up uh, a seed uh, from one of the YouTubers, Dutch Actuary. This is, he, he's done uh, a master class, and this is the seed he used, and I figured, well, okay, why not? Let's just use this one, too, as well. Um, it doesn't look to be too bad of a map, but what we'll do is we'll just, uh, as you can see, uh, the star cluster if i remember i'll link to his file and i'll also put the seed in uh in case you want to follow along and well do better than i am uh i am not a a great player okay uh i am basically a beginner i would say so anyway but there, i have played this game before so what we need to do is we need to get some wood now, if you hold down the uh, shift key while you're clicking, which is a left click, uh, you can do multiple resources, which is really good. We're also going to grab some stone. Now, if you go onto the, uh, onto the mecha pad here, it's telling you that we need stuff here. So. Uh, Hold the control key, you can transfer all of uh, the stuff that you just uh, you just destroyed and that will give you some fuel. So that's pretty good. Now let's have a good look here. Now here's my landing pad. I've got a little bit of iron here. I've got some copper here. I've got some stone here. Uh, I've got some coal here. So what we'll do is I'm just going to go and grab some stone here. Uh, always, always, always early game, get the big rocks if you possibly can, because they sometimes give you uh, silicone, they sometimes give you titanium, and uh, it makes your job a lot easier down the road. Even the small rocks here sometimes will give you some, uh, some extra things. Okay, so the first thing we do while he's doing is we start our research. This is electro, uh, uh, magnet magnetism. It gives you your power and it gives you the ability to do some mine. It requires you to do uh, some magnetic coil. And it's basically telling me that I don't have any resources right now. But that's fine because we are going to be getting them. So if you go into here into your replicator, you'll see that you need this. You need copper and you need magnets so you need some copper and you need some some iron ore so what we do is we just go sort of like this just click on it and now you can do um mining by hand it's a little slow we'll grab about 20 And then we right click on the iron and we'll grab some iron. So as you can see, we can now, now that we've got iron, we can produce. Just wait. Uh, if I just uh, click produce, I just get one time, but you can actually, if you hit the cell, you can produce 10 at once here. Just wait for 10. Produce. And what will happen is it will build. And then once it has uh, the proper amount, it says it needs 10, which I've already told it to produce. So our, our first research should be done pretty quickly here. So you can see right now that it is producing, uh, it's making copper plates out of the ore. Once it's done, it will start producing these guys. And if you notice, I'm, I'm doing 20 here, um, maybe a little bit more than I actually need, but you know, that's okay. And then as you can see on the manual research, it's going down. So here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Two, one. And now it's telling me my research is complete. I have a new automatic mining machine, which is cool. 
Well, what we'll do is we'll do the next. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory. Or Thank you. Okay, so uh, we have other research here. And as you can see, uh, this unlocks your blue science. This unlocks your glass and your smelters, which is actually what you should have. This unlocks your assembly machines. All four of these are important, by the way. Uh, you need to do these pretty much uh, next. But what I like to do is I like to do the basic logistics system first. But today we are going to, because uh, uh, I would like smelters so I can uh, start. So we're going to do that one first. Then we're going to do the conveyor belts, the sorters, and the storage. So now we have two in queue. So we'll just pick up some more iron ore here. We're going to pick up some rocks. We're going to pick up some more trees because we're probably going to need some more energy very shortly. Most people destroy this. You you kind of get um oh he didn't want to do that. Okay. That's fine. So now he's just going to sit there and mind more stuff. Now it says that we need more of these, but we now need circuits. And circuits in the replicator is right here, and it says you need two iron plates and one copper plate. And we need 10 of these. We go. So since I'm now doing the uh, copper, that should be. Uh, so as you can see, it's, it's, it's doing the iron and, and then it will do the copper and then it will use those resources to build uh, the circuits here. And then next up is on this one here. What the heck just happened there? No, I'm sorry. Now this gives us 10 more circuits. I'm building 20, by the way, so I'll be able to do that. And then some more gears. So once I have so, we'll just go right back here. And we'll just uh, we'll grab some more ore because I have a feeling that we need... I believe we need 10 on these. Yep, we need 10 of those and we need 10 circuits. I'm going to do some more circuits here too as well. Oh, and we can now do this smelter, so we are now pretty much set to get going here. Let's get some trees and let's start clearing out some space and wait until it's daytime so we can see exactly what we're doing. Uh, a lot of people really don't like the uh, the nighttime. It's sometimes very, very hard to, to see. No, I don't want you. I want you instead. There we go. Now we've got everything that we need. So you have we can received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the... Thank you. Okay, so now we have the science is now all done. So... Let's go on to the next one. So we need the basic assembler. Uh, this is your factory that produces um, microcircuits and, and other things too as well. So we're going to activate that. And then the next one we need to do is the blue science. So we'll get that going. And we'll just fill it up with everything that we need. Now, it says it doesn't have enough of that uh, of the gears, but it does now. And then with this one, we need 10 of these. And we need 10 more circuits. And I believe we have the circuits already. Yes, we do. So here we go. We're, gr uh, we're good. Now, I'm just waiting to see how this is. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to get to daylight because I do have sometimes problems with seeing uh, darker screens. Uh, being an old man, that's basically... Uh, uh, 
big problem. And I want to have a good idea of, of what everything looks like. You can see it on the map here. There, there is a, an area down here. So why don't we have a, a quick look down here? You know what? I'm just going to get rid of that damn thing. I know I uh, I don't get the achievement for it. I don't care. Just get rid of it because it's in the, the way. same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Yeah, how about shutting up? Yeah. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Yeah, this is incredibly boring, isn't it? But you know what? You you need to do the grinding, and now we're about, just about ready to go. The only thing that I need to do is to you figure can hold out. Down mouse middle button drag to rotate. That sometimes does not work. Okay, if you click on there, we can. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle. Will you shut the hell up? In the planet view mode. Okay, there we go. God, that's sometimes annoying. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're taking a look at where our resources are. There we are. We're a tiny little guy right there. So we have the iron here. We have some copper. We have some stone. We have the coal. Um, this, unfortunately, is not great because we need a lot of iron and it's all up here. And there's some more iron here. And we do not have a very large area to build in. So I have a feeling that we're going to have to build a base here a temporary base here and move everything over because uh, I wanted to move over here I'm holding down the uh, the mouse middle button by the way so I can see uh, yeah it's copper copper is a big problem uh, there's copper all the way up here is there anything else where we can actually just move our base to there is some iron here. Oh, look at that. That's huge. And that's a huge bear, uh, area. It, maybe we should investigate here. Uh, coal. Coal. There is copper. There is copper. There is a tiny bit of stone up here. Oh, damn. This is a pretty tough map. There is some stone here, too, as well. Right here is a real good place to build our base, our main base. I would really love to do that. And then, unfortunately, I don't know. Because stone is over here. But I want where all that copper is. We're going to build a base right here. We're just going to go straight up. We're going to start uh, strip mining everything so I got some room. Not a hell of a lot of room on this one. Uh, this is not a good beginner's map, to be honest. Uh, uh, as I said, I got this from the Dr. Actor, um, actor or whatever is his last name. It, he said this is the one that he used, but I really don't consider this to be very good for beginners. Um, because there's a very limited amount of space. What we really want to do is we really want to get stuff uh, going here. Let's see how... Uh, yeah, I need some more stuff here. Go to control. Click all the logs. Click all of that. Get rid of all of this stuff. Okay, first thing I always do. And I know this is a kind of a strange way to, uh, to start the game. Insufficient required items. You can click the replicator button at the bottom right of the screen to open the panel Will and you... manually replicate these items. He is so damn annoying. Okay, how about we just do it this way? Let's do with the mine. Start with the mining machines. I think we're going to need five, so let's do five of those. Uh, we are going to need some wind turbines, so we should do five of those. And with the conveyor belts, well, we're going to do some manually manual mining, so we might as well get that uh, might as well get that going. 
So we're just gonna uh, man some ore for the time being. So we're just waiting for these guys to be done. We're gonna uh, manually do some more here. Then we're also going to uh, build some wind turbines and that uh, we need that to power the, uh, the machines, of course. Uh, a lot of people don't like using wind turbines. Uh, they go, um, my advice with you is stick with wind turbines until you have a, a better power source than the coal factories. Do not use coal factories to power your base. You will find out that after a while, they all completely and totally break down. And then you are suddenly without power. I have absolutely no idea why the developer did it the way that he did, but he did. So, okay, whatever. That should be more than enough. We'll grab some coal, some copper. And we're going to also need a lot of stone for smelters. If you want to sort, you see that little button right there? Just click him, he sorted. We have lots of stone too as well, so we can just build stuff here. How am I doing on this? Okay, let's get our machines going here. Put that, uh, first off, we need to do some mining machines. If you uh, press R, do you see that they rotate? The trick is to try and get as much of these guys in as possible. He is not going to let me, so I'm going to do one here. Oh, and while I'm at it, let's do one for the copper too as well. These are one of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within. Thank you. Uh, okay. Want to power your machines? One wind turbine here. One wind turbine here. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power. Now we're going to do what the same for the stone. Just going to set up everything. And he's there's a lot of stone here. This is just a temporary base, I think. I'm going to do him, him like this. If it doesn't work... You know what? You can just rebuild it. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a big deal. Now, in case you're wondering, why did I do this? Well, okay, here we go. Let's go to the first base. He's powered. And they will sort. See what's happened? He, he stores about a, a 50 in, uh, in the iron ore, which we need. And then when you click it, it, be, it goes into your inventory and then he mines some more. That means that we can now do these guys, the converters. We're going to need as many as you can produce of these uh, for the start of the game. It's the same with the uh, the copper. We don't really need copper right now. It's really the ore that we need. That, that's the most important thing. I'm just getting everything sort of set up for a little mini base here. I could add a second miner. Uh, not that tough to do. Here we go. Now we just sit here and wait until our conveyors show up. But uh, what will happen is that I'm producing as many conveyors as I possibly can. Uh, so, so that way we can do a, a small base. Now this is a very, very small area. Uh, everything else is not really suitable. As, as in, if you remember, there's a huge... There was way too many boxes and talking in the early part of the game, isn't there? Uh, but there's a huge area down here. That's where our main base is actually going to go. But I want a, a small resource area. And I think I'll grab some of these guys too. There we go. What is really nice is if you... You can just stay in one place. And you can grab all of, your, all of the resources. That's so nice, isn't it? So how am I doing on this? He's slow, but that's okay. Oh, we got 50. So, here we go. 
conveyors are right here. And what you have to do is you have to go like this, click to build, and your guy will automatically build them. I'm going to do him too as well. And I think we're going to probably do you too as well. I don't know where should I put you. I really, really, really wish that there was a way to get rid of the dark mode in this game or the nighttime mode because, to be honest, the developers are a little bit stubborn sometimes, I think. You know, technically, really should really build down here, shouldn't I? But I'm waiting for it to be light so I can see the resources. But I'm kind of thinking it might be actually a little bit better just to build down here. So why don't we do that? We got our coal here too as well. So we're going to set up a coal. I'm just going to grab some more trees and stuff. Coal is, um, you can actually use the power of your mech and it seems to work a lot better than trees. But we're going to just use trees at the moment. So we'll go back to gather. We're going to see what we need here. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice spot, even though we don't really need it. Nope. Come on. Stupid little boxes all over the damn place. There we go. Well, you can see he's now doing, uh, he's now doing, uh, coal. So we've got all of our, our basic resources happening. So I guess it's time to start thinking about how to do this. And it's now sunlight so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Please developers, get rid, give us the option to get rid of this damn mode. Because I mean, it's really, really, really annoying. He seems to be, as you can see, he's moving very, very slow. It's because of all of that. That's, that's fine. So where are we? Yeah, there's a lot more room down here. I'm not too sure if this is a, the best place to put it, but because all of my uh, resources are all up here, but it's a nice big opening. Oh, there's, there is some iron here. It's really the copper. We don't need a lot of copper, but we do need enough. But this is a nice area. So I think that's what we'll do is we will build a, a temporary base here. And then let's see what's, what else is here. See, look at all the copper up there. What about over here? Well, I can't really see very well. Wow, decisions, decisions, right? Because where you put your starting base is the most important. Technically, it really should be here. Just a small temporary base. And uh, once you get the ability to have concrete, you can concrete over a lot of area. This is, if you notice here, look at all of that area to build. There is no resources there whatsoever. That is amazing. I'm just trying to find stuff here, but of course, naturally, I can't see. Okay. I think what I am going to do is I am going to compromise here, I think. Let's build our, our, our next thing in the production, these guys. Yeah, we want 10 of those. I believe it's stone and everything else that we're missing. We should be fine. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you. So, how should we do this, Paul? Well, it's easier to do it up here, isn't it? No matter how much I hate doing it, I think we're going to have to do it like this. So, we start by laying out our guys. 
you built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically, while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously. You need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Thank you. Now, Gail, go away. All right, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to have a lot of power here. So as you see, I've got my free wind turbines here. Now, this is a Tesla tower. This allows you to connect everything. Uh, these are just, they're basically power. This is your power generator. These are your power you posts. You have done building the first power transmission facility. Tesla tower. Yes. Okay, so as you can see, we're doing that. So. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the... Will you just shut the hell up? Wow. Okay. Um, select your ox. These are the smelters. These are what allow you to produce iron plates and copper plates. So what you do is you just click on that and you go like that. And now he is now set so that he will actually make iron ingots once you have everything else set up. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. We're going to need conveyors. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set everything up. giving myself room. I have absolutely no plans. Uh, I, I never pre-plan uh, anything in my game. That's because uh, I'm not like you know, one of these super duper building guys. It kind of worked out nicely though, didn't it? Okay, so now if we now we can finally get going. First off, Let's just go over here so it makes it a little easier for you to see. Uh, we need to pull our resources into the smelter. So you click once there and then you click a second time. We need to set you to be iron. And then we need to take the process product. And so we click on here and then we click to a new belt. So what will happen is it will take the iron, it will dump the plate, there you go, see? And we'll do it, we'll just do it on this side too as well. Okay, I am definitely having some problems there. There we go. Why is that not doing it? That should be doing it. There we go. So now I have two lines of copper happening. And one of the nice thing, uh, I'm sorry, iron ore plates. And one of the nice things is once is they have storage. And they will store up to 100. So you really don't need to use storage bins. Now we'll do the same with this here. Here we go. That's what we need to do. So now we have our own storage and of course it would help if, if... Oh, I didn't have enough Tesla towers. That's interesting. Here we go. There we go. Now we do. You know what I did? Yep, I saw. I know, but you know what, people, uh, I, I, I really don't care if they're perfectly not lined up, but you know, there are some people that just seem to be triggered by stuff like that. So we'll just do it, so we'll do it properly so that way I don't have people going absolutely nuts at me because I didn't make this perfectly in the line. There, and then we just 
jump one there there we go so we are actually set up to start uh, to start building well if I need any raw iron ore which I can just grab it from here but now I have the ability to put plates And same with the copper plates. I can now just grab plates. How am I doing on this one? So we have now got very, very basic. Everything is now very, very basically set up. Except for the fact that I've run out of power already. That's okay. Now, if you go, if you hold the shift key, see what happens? If I need to make some more here. And they will automatically connect to each other. So I need magnetic coils. So I need, and it's nice. All I have to do is just select that and just take some. Let's take this one. There, now I have enough uh, to make some. And we need, uh, oh, we need rings. Okay, magnetic rings. So, we grab some ore. Okay, that's the reason why. There we go. Not doing a real good job of explaining this game to you, but I'm a beginner. I'm not a professional. I'm not like me loss or somebody else that just, you know, makes a living from playing games. I don't pl make a living from playing games. So we just have to be patient. That's all. And uh, things get better as time goes on, but it's like every other factory game and builder game. It just takes a while to get going. Uh, in the next video, once we get everything, all of the basic stuff done, which is pretty close to it, I'm going to expand my power. Yep, yeah, I'm okay now. So again, hold the shift key down, click, and it will click, and then hopefully, and then it will, as you can see, there you go. You hold the shift key down, now I, I now I've, I can build more, and, and my robots will automatically just uh, build it for me. And that should give me more than enough power for the next little while. But if you really want to get fancy, it might not let me build here. No, you see, lack of an item. Okay. So every, anyway, I have my iron plates. I'm going to go and grab some... I'm going to need more of these guys. A lot more of these guys. We're going to start building our basic construction. We're going to start building uh, a factory for each of these items here. And then we'll, we'll worry about science last. We're just getting everything set up. It's giving me 100 plates. Can I reach that? Yep, 100 all. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to start building some smelters. It's magnetic rings that we need. Yeah, we need some more ore. It's right there. I can't quite reach him. There we go. So we can uh, grab resources as we need them directly from here. As I said, there's really kind of no need to do storage. Uh, 
I just want to build some uh, smelters and then uh, and then we'll in the next video we'll start building uh, factories uh, for each of, of uh, we'll do factories for magnets or a magnetic coil we'll do a gear we'll do a circuit board we'll just build our chain up a little bit and get our basic resources going and then afterwards we'll start with the blue science and get that going and uh you know it's just a very very basic basic setup here yeah in the meanwhile i am going to uh In the meanwhile, I'm going to sign off. This is Shiva, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.